Good afternoon, everybody. Um, just wanted to come on here for a minute and tell you about an email I got the other day from a lady by the name of Coconut Mama, and she had said how she whips her coconut oil to make her own moisturizing cream. And I just went and got some of the coconut that I use from Walmart. This is what I use for Dawn's cookies, and I also use it for my own moisturizer. I've done that in the past. But she whips it up with a blender or I used a little hand blender today and I whipped mine up in my mason jar. Now she did 16 ounces. I don't. And this is what it looks like whipped. And it's, I love my coconut oil for a moisturizer. And one is natural. has no kind of ingredients that's added to it that's going to hurt you in any way. And you just, if you want to do some essential oils, you can drop some of those in there. Make sure you get a good brand of essential oils. I do doTERRA. Some people do Young Living. Who knows what else there's out there. But you just kind of be careful with what oils you're using. So I wanted to tell you about that because I love using my coconut oil. It also is a sunscreen oil. You can use it if you're going out to suntan, and that's what I do. It also has an UV ray extension so that you don't get all the sun and get burned. I used it last year and didn't get burned by using my coconut oil. I don't use sunscreen, sunblock. It has too much stuff in it that's not good for your body. And we don't look at our, our body the way we need to. Our body's an organ. It absorbs the stuff we put on our body. So like perfumes we use, whatever's in there is absorbing into our body. You don't know what it's doing to your body. If there's carcinogenics in there, that can cause problems with your body. Anything like that can cause problems. Just like the foods we eat can cause problems. So the reason I want to tell you this is make your own lotion because why not do it out of something natural that you know there's no added additives to and make your skin feel good. And the coconut oil is good for your skin. I've always used it, and when I quit using it, I can tell a difference. My skin starts looking yucky. And, of course, if I don't drink a lot of water, it does anyway. And I haven't been doing that lately, and I need to get back at drinking my water. But I want to tell you, this this little story happened when I was at Walmart, and it's kind of cute. I'm walking through Walmart and getting ready to go check out, and this little old man's leaning up against this buggy, and he says to me, he says, Are you following me? I'm like, No, are you following me? And he says, No, but I'd like to. And I just kind of looked at him and I laughed. And he says, you're very pretty. And that made me feel so good. I said, well, thank you. I said, you have a blessed day. And I kept on walking. Because, you know, sometimes people say things just to make you feel good and make you have a great day. And that kind of highlighted my day right there. So I thought that was kind of nice of the older man to say that to me. But, um, you know, you don't never know how you look to people. But that's what he told me. And I thought that was kind of nice of him to do. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. And then I'm going to come back on and do a video on a blood type and meat. Because I know that some people feel that they can't eat the meat because they're blood type this or blood types that. I want to go and do some research on that. And then I'll get back with you on that because I know a lot of people have questions about that. So we'll see. And I'm not going to say, you know, I can't tell you what to eat. That's up to you. I just tell you what I eat and what makes me feel good. And I can tell you to try it because maybe it'll make you feel good. Maybe it'll help you lose weight. Maybe it won't. I don't know. That's totally your decision. And we all know that. But I just want to add things out there in case there's something out there that can help somebody. I think that's important. I think people should do that. If you found something that works for you, makes you feel good, I think sometimes you should maybe do a video and tell people, hey, this is what I did. This is how I feel by doing it. Maybe you want to try it. You know, Vegetables aren't for everybody, and I guess meat's not for everybody. It's everybody's decision. So I'll check back with you on that as soon as I check that out. And I want to ask a prayer request, please, for my brother who fell and hurt his shoulder. He's gone today for an MRI. He thinks he's probably pulled some ligaments. Um, I'm not sure. But, you know, he takes care of his wife who was um, had a stroke. Uh, a few years ago and he still has to help her and do things for her which that's going to put a little bit of a damper on their lifestyle right now but they'll have to figure that out so pray for them that God guides them in the right di direction and that he'll heal quickly and he can get on with doing the things that he does and I just thank you all for listening to my video please subscribe if you like my videos um, and hit the little bell because when you hit the little bell it lets you know when I I uh, have another video that comes up on YouTube. 
and you can listen. But I just try to tell you the things that I've researched and I've listened to other doctors talk about. And um, I just want to let you know those things and things that I discover myself. So I love y'all. Y'all take care and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.